Finally, after a long wait, we have now an eruption. It is started with a swarm of the earthquakes, which our seismograms picked up. And as you can see, there's a sharp uh, rise in the activity of the earthquakes, and uh, then followed by this map, which actually you can see that distribution on the uh, geography. They are strangely enough extend beyond the Eurasian plate to the North American plate. Then you can see temporal or time uh, distribution. Then this is a depth uh, model of the earthquakes. You can see that they're rising. They're more northerly than the previous eruption. As you can see, the concentration is north of the areas of the previous eruptions, more toward the north. The Grindavik, in this case, there was no eruption or any fissure opening up in that area. The earthquakes uh, made the magma more fluid, so it was able to flow, and the result was this. Within the next hour, the fissure opened up to 3.9 kilometers, almost 4 kilometers, and the lava started to flow toward the lowland, which is toward the Swartzengi. As you can see here, the change in the slope, you can see that. And uh, it now almost has reached the road to the Grindavik. That is the road to the north of the Swartzengi geothermal power plant. The arrow shows the direction of the movement. It may cut the road any moment. The hazard uh, map is updated. This is a legal document. As you can see, the uh, hazard level for the Grindavik is reduced. Along the fissure, we have yet the risk of eruption. The hangover crack is not active so far. So that is what we saw also on the model of the seismic activity, the depth of the earthquakes. This is also the shape of the and the length of the fissure, as you can see. And these are all the details that have been mentioned in the uh, Icelandic Meteorological Office. Uh, update the timing of course is a little bit uh, long wrong uh, the eruption is started at 21 uh, 25 minutes and 50 second that's the time that we have for that and uh, the total length is mentioned here i have shown you the map also the hazard level also this is a legal document it shows your responsibility for you know, observing if you see it you have to be careful, that's your own uh, risk. And uh, updates will be added as they happen. We may have the road already covered by the lava when uh, we reach the morning. And uh, duration of the eruption may be the same as the other one, more than one month. We had the volume of the magma more than 20 million cubic meters, 60 megatons of the magma.